the laws of thermodynamics, entropy, human-centered interpretation, and the purpose of absolute knowledge. Thermodynamics examines the laws governing energy and heat. Entropy is used to describe the tendency toward degradation that emerges during these transformations. Thermodynamics and entropy are often presented as the operating laws of the universe. However, this narrative is unconsciously rooted in a human-centered language. From the micro to the macro scale, no structure knows its own identity, function, or meaning. To be and to know are not the same. Humans, as conscious beings, classify, name, and model what occurs. We say, atom, tree, cloud, galaxy. From these observations, we derive orders, laws, and theories. What happens here is not that the universe applies laws, but that humans name recurring relationships has laws. The universe consists of the relationships we call laws. A law is a descriptive tool of the human mind. At this point, what humans do is not the production of truth, but the effort to understand what already exists. Absolute and all-encompassing knowledge belongs not to existence itself, but to the one who brings existence into being. Humans, in contrast, are limited consciousnesses who attempt to make sense of reality through research, measurement, and conceptualization. Laws, theories, and concepts are not absolute knowledge itself, but expressions formed in so far as humans can touch it. When entropy is considered within this framework, it ceases to be an internal problem of the universe. These experiences are meaningful only for consciousnesses that hold expectations, set goals, and design futures. Humans establish an order, observe its dissolution, and call this entropy. What deteriorates is not the universe, but the human constructed framework of meaning. In a deterministic system, nothing goes wrong. Everything occurs necessarily as it must. Entropy is not a property of the universe itself, but a measure of the limits of human knowledge and control. Indeed, in modern physics, entropy is treated not as an absolute reality, but as a statistical and observer-dependent concept. Events existed even when humans did not, but disorder did not. Disorder requires a reference, and that reference is consciousness. The universe has not revolved around human concepts for 13.8 billion years. Humans are beings who appear and disappear afterward. Therefore, entropy is not a name of the universe, but of the relationship humans establish with it. At this point, science reaches its boundary. Science answers the question of how. The question of why remains within the domain of meaning. The only thing that can be done is to declare what is known in the realm of existence to the extent that we can understand it. Ultimately, no definitive line of thought is constructed, nor is an absolute explanation made. Existence exists, and we speak only as far as we see, without making claims or imposing meanings. Entropy, within this discourse, takes its place not as the word of the universe, but as the word of humanity. 